Uh, you may remember I did a build log for a Nerdy Gertie, which I published on um, YouTube and Facebook. That's the one that I that I built. Um, and I did say during that build log that um, I was going to build a second one with some revisions. Now I've done that, so I won't bore you with another long build log. All I'll do is I'll um, assemble it and um, show you the, the changes that I've made. First of all, I've added um, sympathetic strings. I've um, replaced quite a lot of the uh, machine parts with 3D printed parts and also I've self-cranked the, um, the Gurdy by using a stepper motor and a stepper motor driver. Um, so there's a stepper motor in there. Um, I I don't think it's necessary for a hurdy-gurdy to be self-cranked but I decided to do it like this because I have a problem with my right side and I find it very difficult to crank a hurdy-gurdy. So this is a self-cranked hurdy-gurdy. If anybody else wants to do this I'll quite willingly post the modifications and the electronics on, um, on Thingiverse or wherever so that you can do that. Also I will post if anybody else is interested in doing that the modifications for the sympathetic strings and the STLs for the um, parts that I've printed off in one piece rather than assembled from um, various uh, um, laser cut bits of bits of plywood and so on and that includes the drone bridges, the main bridge and so on. I've added a set of uh, extra um, machine screws, uh, machine heads for the sympathetic strings, eight sympathetic strings and I'll give you the tuning for those and um, we've still got a handle uh, that's so that you can crank the hurdy-gurdy as well as get the hurdy-gurdy to crank itself. There's also a speed controller so that you can vary in real time the speed of the wheel and you can even um, uh, vary the speed according to the rhythm of the piece so that you get the full effect of the buzzing drones. Um, so what I'll do is I will assemble this for the first time and you can see how it all goes together. If anybody else is interested in doing all or any of these modifications then let me know and I will publish the modifications somewhere. This has been my lockdown project by the way, lockdown 2021. So let's start by wiring up and installing the self-cranking mechanism which includes a stepper motor and a speed controller and a stepper motor driver. So first of all I'm going to mount the uh, speed control and the stepper motor driver inside a trap door that I've uh, placed in the bottom. There's a 3D printed part here which is the mount for the uh, speed controller. I've decided to put it on the side there. If you want to do this you can put it anywhere you like, wherever you think is convenient for you to control the, um, the, the speed of the stepper motor. So let's put all that in now. There I've mounted the speed controller there. Full speed, stop. And the next thing to do is to just stick the um, stepper motor driver in. So I plug it into the stepper motor. Just 
just make sure the wheel turns freely now what I've got at the back here if you can see oops I've got masking tape over it let's take the masking tape off uh, there's a plug there for a 12 volt supply there's a jack there because I've put some microphones inside if ever I want to amplify and the on off switch now you can plug in 12 volts here either a 12 volt battery or a um, 12 volt 2 amp um, 2000 milliamp wall wart will go nicely in there and power the motor so let's see if that works I've got a um, 12 volt 11.7 volt actually model aeroplane battery um, which I use for testing so we plug that in also uh, you can use a wall wart I've got one of those plug that in when you want to play your thing switch on the switch here and there, go, there it goes self cranked and speed control here so you can vary the speed don't worry about the noise of the stepper motor I've set up the um, micro stepping so there's a minimum amount of noise um, you could always make it uh, coincide with the um, with the note that your drones are making but the hurdy-gurdy is going to make a hell of a lot more noise than the stepper motor now uh, you can make stepper motors make a lot of noise in fact I've seen on YouTube people making stepper motor organs and things like that uh, but um, that's fun so you, you can use this as a wah-wah pedal fast, slow, fast, slow, fast, slow, fast, slow and get the um, get the old uh, buzzer drones going so that's the the self crank um, you can stick the the handle on as well and crank it by hand will vary the speed with the with the crank the next thing we'll do is stick the machine heads for the oops for the uh, sympathetic strings and the main machine heads for the main strings and there's a 3D printed part to stop the machine heads wobbling which uh, goes over there you see that? yeah that goes through there so I'll just put uh, the, mach the machine heads for the sympathetic strings on now Next thing is to place the nut for the three for the the three D printed nut for the sympathetic strings. These are handed, so the holes must be upwards. Places in that slot there, and we screw it in. So you do the same for the other side. Um, and now we need to put the bridge for the sympathetic strings in so if you look you see what happens is the sympathetic strings are strung to these machine heads they go through this hole and out of this hole and the bridge is mounted there the other side of that hole and that's where the 3d printed strings go so I just put the bridge in so that's the bridge um, there is a 3d printed part the other side of the um, side panel uh, which is not very strong because it's um, 
it's grooved so that it can bend and that's to take the tension off the strings so that's ready for stringing the, the sympathetic strings on one side and we do the same for the other side of the girdy so now I've put all the uh, machine heads in and I've done the bridges and the nuts for these sympathetic strings I also have put the crank handle in I need to um, to put the key box in uh, first of all I'd like to say something about the wheel uh, the wheel is printed in a 3D on a 3D printer with a dual nozzle and what I've done is I've printed the main part of the wheel in PLA and put a with the second nozzle a, a wood uh, filament, wood PLA filament, a tire around it, and that was that will be uh, bowing the strings and will take the rosin. So now I uh, will put the uh, the the key box in. Um, it's just one thing I'd like to say about the key box. Bring it around here. If you look along the side, there's a another plastic strip. There's another one up dead. This plastic strip, and it's got a rubber 20 mil uh, rubber padding inside, and that acts as a buffer for the keys so that when you when you key the keys it makes them return quickly so that has two effects one you don't have to re uh, rely on gravity to return the keys also it makes it easier to do tremolo effect on the keys by just repeatedly pressing them um, so I will attach the key box now so I've uh, attached the key box I printed all the keys um, I've also attached the uh, the main bridge which incidentally doesn't need to be glued that's uh, printed as one piece and I can put the um, STL on Thingiverse if you like so one piece except for the parts that need to move in other words the adjustable height for the uh, for the bridge um, now um, it's ready for uh, putting the main strings on but before I string the drones we need to put these two uh, drone bridges in which we'll do they are also printed in one piece apart from the moving parts and also what I've done is let me just move this slightly instead of using the uh, let's get around to the side where you see um, the ele electrical connectors or whatever it is to anchor the strings I've printed a part that fits on there and that is the anchor becomes the anchor for the strings they just get threaded through there up and over the bridge so I will install the drone bridges and that bridge and then we'll be all completely assembled uh, ready for uh, stringing it up it'll probably take me a few days to tune it up properly so it sounds okay if it ever does sound okay but we'll see so I'm going to put the um, the sympathetic strings in first and I need to say something about the tuning on the left hand side I'm going to G A B C so that the C strings on the top and then on the other side D E 
F and F sharp. So on the top either side we've got the F sharp string and the C string. So if you want to play in G um, you've got a resonant string, the F sharp as well as the other strings of course. And if you want to play in D uh, you tune the top string on the other side up a semitone to make it C sharp. And you can play in D. So you've got all the main uh, the main keys covered. It's a bit of a compromise really we should have 12 sympathetic strings but there's no room for that. Um, your mileage may vary, you might be able to stick a, four extra strings in there uh, but it's a compromise so you have to do a small amount of retuning if you want to play in D. That is just tune one of the strings up a semitone. So we'll install the sympathetic strings and then the chanters and the drones and we will be complete. Okay so now I've uh, finished assembling the Gurdy. Um, I've made a few changes notably I've had to reinforce the bridges for the sympathetic strings. Um, and I've come to the realization that the sympathetic strings cover only one octave so basically um, you won't use all the strings from an instrument. I find the ideal combination of strings are the uh, four strings from a dulcimer. You get two sets of four strings that go in one octave from uh, D down to D. Now I've tuned them from bottom G through to F sharp. Why F sharp? So that I can get the key of G and E minor. If you tune the C to C sharp you can also get D. Uh, there's all the strings resonance on D and B minor or leave the strings as they are and it's resonant for the, with the other keys um, notably C and A minor but uh, the, other, the other keys as well providing you don't want all the strings to be resonant. If you want all the strings to be resonant then you need 12 strings. I've only, I'm only using 8. Um, so it's all looking good. Um, I'm amplifying it through a cube amplifier. You can also power it from the cube, 12 volts. It's got 12 volts in it. Uh, and it all powers up okay. What other changes have I made? Uh, nothing really. Um, I've only just strung it. So um, it, it's going to take a while for the strings to be bedded in. But I'll just uh, start it up now and show you how it turns. Switch on at the back. I'll put photographs of details of the various parts of this so that we can uh, see how it's, how it's made. If you can hear me, you can change the speed. Buzzing strings. I think the buzzing strings are a bit overrated. Never mind. They're just the buzzers of these things here. So it's all good. Thank you for watching my video. I'll switch it off first before I say. So that's the uh, self-cranked hurdy-gurdy, self-amplified, self-cranked electric hurdy-gurdy. Um, and if you want to adopt any of the modifications that I've put here, I'll um, put them up on Thingiverse, I guess. Thank you.